Welcome to this video and today, guess what ladies? We got a guy that's contributing to this video. And so today I wanna to discuss weight loss strategies based on our clients' experiences. And again, thank you everybody that's contributed to this video, gave me some ideas. And so today we're gonna to hear from William who shares his struggles with reducing carbs and falling out of habit of regular exercise. But don't worry because I've got some effective tips and tricks that are gonna help you to stay on track. So William wrote, that by reducing his carbs because he loves bread and that he eats too many carbs, which makes him then gain weight. Now, the first thing I would tell you, William, and everybody out there that's afraid of carbs and bread is that you do not need to eliminate or reduce any food groups. It's all about your calorie in, calorie out. So if you just want to eat carbs, as long as you make it work within your caloric budget, then guess what? You're still going to see weight loss. Now the problem is, is that most of us think that we're eating healthy most of the time and that once in a while we'll overeat carbohydrates, but then we forget about all the snacking we're doing. So the first thing I would tell you, William, is that to make sure that you're tracking your food, don't even worry about macros, just punch in the food, weigh in the food that you're eating, and I guarantee you if you stay within your caloric budget that you've had set with your coach, then guess what? You don't have to worry about weight loss, you just have to focus on being consistent. So if you're just building out a habit like starting to work out or starting to get into nutrition, I would tell you that you always need to reward yourself. So if you're going to eat ice cream cake, then I'm gonna tell you this analogy. Whenever I start dieting, I always do a reverse diet, okay? So if I'm starting diet, that means that I was like on some kind of all-inclusive trip where I was eating a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs, a lot of salty and sweet foods. And so I have to reverse engineer that. I'm not a cold turkey guy. Now, some people are cold turkey, but this strategy for me and all the clients that I've worked with has been the most successful. So for instance, I still weigh my ice cream cake, right? So on Sunday, I'll have the last little bit of ice cream cake where I don't weigh it. And then Monday, I'll weigh it and I'll just measure a portion that was half of the one that I had yesterday. And let's say that that portion is 500 grams. Now that's a lot of sugar, that's a lot of carbs, but I burn a lot of calories and it fits within my caloric budget. And then every day I eat ice cream cake because that's my reward for eating 90% of my food that's clean and healthy. But every day I reduce the amount of ice cream cake that I'm eating. So I would reduce it by 50 grams. And I would continue to eat this for the rest of the week until the ice cream cake is gone. And by that time, your nutrition went from a 90-10, so 90% clean, 10% complete junk, to now it went from 91%, 9% junk, 92%, 8% junk. And by the end of the week, that sweet tooth is going to be cured and you would have had a gradual reduction where you're not going cold turkey and you feel like you're missing out. So try this strategy because it's going to help you to clean up that poor diet. Go 90-10 and then go 91-9, 92 eight, and you're gonna see massive, massive amounts of results. Now the thing about William is that he finds that he falls out of habit, out of routine, because he gets way too busy and it always affects his weight loss success. And you guys, know where I'm at with this is that your workouts need to be a non-negotiable. When it comes to habits, habits are actions and it's just a matter of planning. Now I see parents with five kids. Today this, this woman walked in, she had five kids. That's a freaking basketball starting lineup. She works, she goes to the gym, she, has, she probably has quality time with their spouse, with each one of those kids while taking them to karate, swimming lessons and dance. Now how does she do it? And how is it that the rest of us can't do it? And it's just us. Some of us are just us. We don't have kids anymore. And so our kids are already older and it's just us. And yet we're still finding that we're busy. These people have amazing planning. They probably have a calendar on the fridge. They probably have shared calendars on their phone, like Google reminders. They probably communicate every single day with one another. For you, it's simple. You go on Zen Planner, you plan your workouts. And if you can't make the gym that day, guess what Fit Club members? you have access to our virtual workouts. We have a thousand. We started them back in 2020. We've got at least a thousand workouts in there. All you gotta do is punch in the workout that you're feeling. You get to pick the type of workout. You wanna do upper body? Punch in upper body. You wanna do lower body? Punch in lower body. You wanna do booty? Booty. You wanna do cardio? Cardio. You wanna do abs? Abs. It's all there waiting for you. And if you don't have the time to get that done, guess what? We go live at 7.30 in the morning, central time, every single day, Monday through Friday. The workouts need to be a non-negotiable. You can do the virtual or you can join us. We have 10 sessions on the blue every single day. Woo! 
So I want to thank everybody for tuning into this video and William, I hope that helps you. These strategies are based on clients' experiences and I hope that you found this one helpful and that it's going to help you to achieve long-term weight loss success and give the video a like. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to give you more strategies on how to make this your fittest year yet.